Hi, welcome back to my September sweep, and this time I'm sweeping through my linen closet slash medicine chest. What I didn't include here were bed linens because basically what we have we use, towels, what we have we use. Uh, my beauty products specifically aren't in here because I plan on doing separate uh, skincare and makeup sweep, which maybe I'll do later this week. Who knows? Ambitious. But this is what I called out of the linen closet that we're just not using. So I'll start off with, this is a really nice eucalyptus scented candle. And I think it's soy made with essential oils. It still has oof, plenty of scent and it throws very nicely, but neither John nor I are very fond of burning candles in the home. So I'm going to see if I can give this to a friend who would appreciate it. Uh, we're very down, we're down to the very end on this uh, almond oil from now. And uh, I think I've had this for about two and a half to three years. I, I know that oils aren't supposed to spoil, but I know this one is starting to smell a little off. So it's time for it to go. Let's see. Speaking of going off, I never knew that rubbing alcohol could expire, but this one has a date of 2014, which is so unlike me. Typically, uh, we don't have old stuff in our closet because our closets aren't big enough to really kind of lose things. But here's one example of something that I just assumed it didn't have an expiration date. So it's 2014, it's over three years old. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it. <laughs> Similarly, this thing, it's a pregnancy test. Um, just It's expired in a number of ways, both uh, shelf life and um, me, me life. <laughs> I don't need it anymore. Uh, this Andalou Naturals hair gel, it's John's. He hasn't used it. It's about three years old again, and he's just not using it. So time to sweep that out of the medicine chest. These items, uh, this is a container that I used to make homemade toothpaste, coconut oil, mineral, trace mineral drops, and this pilu, and it was just not successful. We didn't care for it, so I'll reuse this and see maybe there's somebody at work. I have some friends who are into the kind of natural DIY stuff, so maybe they can use this, hopefully. Uh, a just-in-case item was this sling. I've convinced John to get rid of it because as he started to say just in case, he started to laugh and so it's going. Similarly, uh, some items that these have been around, they're essential oils from doTERRA. I think these are about four or five years old. Uh, some of them are just about used up some, and one of them is about half full. And uh, I just think that after a time they can degrade. I've kept them in my bathroom closet, which probably wasn't the best option because it does get damp in there when we take a shower or a bath. So purging those. Medicines. Uh, these are expired. They were mine. And then this one, um, it's just an over-the-counter drug, but it fell out of the box. I've lost its box, basically. Uh, so I don't know when it expired, so I don't want to take the chance of using expired medicine. And then uh, this is just a glass bottle that I've been keeping around to repurpose and I think I've had it for about a year and I've not put anything in here. So I'm just going to recycle it. Either I'll try to see if somebody wants it, if not, that we'll use it. And if not, then I'll just put it in our recycling. We have really good recycling in the city. So there you go, a clean sweep of the closet uh, at the medicine chest. It probably took me about 10 to 15 minutes to look at everything. So you can do it very quickly in your home. Like once you've started to get down to the essentials and the things that uh, you know that you need and that you'll use and you don't have, you know, maybe five, 10 backups of something, it's very easy to go through and clear. And it's actually, I'm a little bit embarrassed by the fact that we have some things that were three years old because I do routinely go through it, but again, I wasn't paying attention to expiration dates. Oops, my bad. Have a great day, and I will see you again soon.